Well, 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 here we are again on the Broken Crown's coping stream. Now, I know the past few times I've said if you guys keep wanting more and more parts to this, please do let me know in the description below. But I've decided to keep going along with it anyway. Mainly because I am very much interested in seeing what sort of more, well, interesting things we're going to get out of this. I mean, in part one, we've established that at the snap of a fucking finger, King Charles can dismantle any fucking government in the Commonwealth that he wants, and apparently Aiden Paladin and Spoons are perfectly okay with it. And in part two, we discovered that Spoons is perfectly a-okay with apartheid. And so is Aiden Paladin the uh, coal burner here. So I very am much interested in what we're going to learn in part three. Now, much like with everything, I'm going to have to keep my expect expectations low. I don't know how much more bizarre it can get, but there is only one way to find out now, is there? Let's go. Kids up for five pounds says Spoon slash Aiden. If you want to see the six-letter F word, use the term, term uh, Lancashire Meatball. YouTube safe. Yes, thank you for coming to my TED yeah, Talk. But, yes, yeah, the Lancashire it, Meatball. It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't carry the quality. punch right, of the, the punch. Just, of the, yes. the word that ends in the T. Uh, so here, this lady tries and to bring you know, some you know what sanity. I need to get, hmm? I need to get a, a soundboard with um, Louis saying that. Oh, yeah. Because the way Louis says it is particularly punchy. And also, I need to uh, get Sargon saying, don't say it. Because <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Twisted Friendly for five euros says, uh, I describe America as the Zeus of the world. They're the most powerful, yet they're still the baby. Yeah, there's yeah, that's, that's, and it's the that's, arrogance of it, of, yes. uh, of, of someone who is, you know, that's the term sophomoric, right? Someone who thinks they know far more than they do. Uh, and and I get a, a and lot of And there's no Americans problem about showing how stupid that actually sounds. That's the yeah, problem. and doesn't and, and doesn't have any self enough self awareness to realize None. that they're showing their whole ass when they do yeah. stuff like this. <laughs> the emperor has no clothes except just with words. Yeah. Let's Chief monarch of a thieving, raping, genocidal empire is finally dying. May her pain be excruciating. Oh, man. Uh, and I oh. thought, how do you Jesus. answer? I mean, that is literally answering with such a hateful heart. And it, it wasn't the tweet. You know, America is not perfect. Far from it. But I would rather live in the, uh, you know, the baby of the bunch, the Zeus, the, the sophomore. No, I'd be rather living in the current state of America right now than living in the fucking UK. I would rather live in a democracy, which isn't perfect, no, far from it, than living in an outdated, centuries-old fucking monarchy. Because remember, again, if Charles really wanted to, the minute he becomes king, snap of his fucking fingers, Justin Trudeau could be on, could be gone from office, like, tomorrow. Just imagine that. Imagine you're a prime minister of one of these Commonwealth countries. You've worked your ass off just hoping and praying that you would even get nominated from your by your party to run to become the next prime minister. And then you campaign even more. And then at long fucking last, you become the prime minister. The job you've always wanted. And so you're sitting there, you know, you're doing what you have to do for your people. And then all of a sudden you get a fucking phone call saying that oh, His Most Royal Highness King Charles III has decided you're a gigantic faggot and you must leave. You're fired. A, a fucking king. Hundreds if not thousands of miles away from where you are living, from where you are ruling, from where you were dutifully and rightfully elected by the people, she calls you up on a fucking whim and says, hey dude, you're fired. Go away now. Yeah, I would rather live in a fucking... Uh, not so perfect democratic system like the one we got over in the United States rather than the fucking monarchy. But no, 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 the monarchy is definitely something we need to be praising towards. Yeah, thank you, sir. Was, was your empire when the British was owned your asses because you're ungrateful pricks? No, were, were, were they thieving genocide or whipping? No. 
No, it's fine. No, they that's weren't fine. actually. But let's let chat. How do you think that Sonny is going to respond to the fact that even the audience, even the middle-aged women audience, when we're they groaning. heard that tweet, was, went, <gasps> oh. Yeah, because Because that's gross. a disgusting thing to say. <laughs> An elite academic <laughs> condemning a monarch is laughable. Yeah, that's a good fucking yeah, point. I, I didn't know, even right? think of that. So what's Sonny's response going to be? Do you think that it's, she's going to be like, well, yeah, that was Fame. wrong, I condemn that? Or do you think she's uh, going to agree with it? <laughs> condemn that. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened. I clearly hit skip bad and then, well, that. <sighs> gotta, gotta fucking love ads on YouTube, you know? Gotta love them. Or do you think she's uh, gonna agree with it? ...was the tens of thousands of likes on that tweet. And to me, that was a moment where you're, you're answering the very hate you reject with... Uh, hate well, that's, and that's that, how you separate the queen it's important, from the empire because there people isn't a lot the in the rest of that tweet. Yes, there is, you stupid bitch. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. What did he say? He said, she, well, she? she said, uh, a thieving, raping, genocidal empire is finally... Well, let's see. If Elizabeth was the queen of England and the monarchy has complete and total fucking control of territories... And members of the fucking Commonwealth states, which according to these fucking two was uh, totally 100% voluntary, then uh, yeah, I, I think it's perfectly right to lump Queen Elizabeth with the Empire. Since she, you know, even though the Empire is a shadow of its former self, it still has control over all of these other territories and dominions and shit, so yeah. I mean, it's safe to say that she is indeed, by her title alone, lumped in with the Empire. Dying, may her pain be excruciating. It was a thieving, raping, genocidal uh, but I think Empire. We, but I no, it wasn't. She she wasn't Twitter so her really? Her. Com I mean... Genocide. You know, you would think if you were a genociding Wait, empire, this is, ending slavery is not on your list. Ending of to do. slavery, they yeah. the, the empire ended slavery. Yeah, thieving and raping. Yeah, thieving and raping. Thieves get rid of their. Just because the British Empire ended slavery hundreds of years ago, does not mean that they partook in slavery. It doesn't mean that we should wash away all of their fucking sins. Because they did one thing that was good. Okay? Just because they did one thing that was good, does that mean we should forgive them of all their fucking sins? Okay? We, we don't forgive child molesters just because they rescued a puppy. We don't forgive fucking terrorists for their crimes because they just so happened to have helped an old lady cross the street right before they left the pipe bomb in front of a fucking preschool. So why should we allow Queen Lizzie, why should we allow the British Empire to get away with all of its fucking crimes because they were the first to end slavery. Just why? It doesn't make sense. Free labor. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. You okay. I mean, it's the thieving. Again, we went bitch. over the thieving. We're taking stuff out of the ground that you don't know how to get out of it. I'm not sure exactly how that's thieving. You could make the argument, but it's going to be Who owns on that? It. Raping. Yeah, well, who owns it? If it's, just, if it's in the ground and you're not going to use it because you don't know how to get to it. You don't even know I, it's I, there. I, it was freaking... Yeah. Do, do you know, like... Yes, it was in the ground, but the ground is still owned by the natives, not the Britbongs. If the Britbongs found diamonds in their own land, then yes, it is technically theirs because it's their land. But if we're talking about a place like uh, the Congo or Zimbabwe, you know, it's not the Brits that own the fucking land there it's the fucking people just because you're able to dig a fucking hole somewhere 
Does it mean it's your fucking land? I can dig a fucking hole on the White House and find a gold pocket watch tomorrow. That would not be my watch because it's not my property. If that were to happen to me, I would be in fucking jail right now and that pocket watch would not be mine. Okay? Take so, so, and take what so, genocide? Take yeah, so, what genocide had the British committed? Take South Africa, I mean, you, for example, okay? Do you know when South Africa's, like, mining industry started? Mm-hmm. Take a guess. Uh, when? I don't know. 1880s. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not it's surprised It's pretty, pretty recent. Yes, it is. Yeah. So you tell me, you, the, the monarchy... In 1880s, Pale East Africa, like South Africa, like most of the world's gold comes from South Africa. I think some, something in like the 1970s, something absurd, like 80% of all the world's gold came from exclusively South Africa. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 here's the, the crux of it, though, right? Did people in the past do bad things? Like, yeah. Yeah. Duh. And so did the all natives of, of their, of guess, their own guess land. Guess what? Guess what? You want to talk about slavery. Not only did the British end the slave trade worldwide for the most part, guess who was doing the enslaving in the first place? It was Africans enslaving their fellow Africans and selling them to Westerners. Yeah. Do you know who... Do you know what? I could think if you were black, if you want to go... Yeah, and you want to take a wild guess as to who exactly was one of the Westerners that was purchasing the slaves that were being sold off by the other African tribes? Hmm, I can't remember their name, but uh, their queen just died. But at, at the most, do you know who did the most slaving of blacks? Blacks and Arabs. <laughs> the Arabs, yeah. The oh yeah. my god! I was listening to a documentary once of um, of um, I think I think it. Yeah, they enslaved other black people and sold them off to the Westerners so they can get some good shit in return. Okay, they sold the slaves. And in return, they got shit like, you know, gold coins, gunpowder, exotic spices, and shit like that. Okay? I was a Nigerian professor, and he was talking mm-hmm. about the uh, how the slaves traded each other, the slave traders traded each other. And yeah. he, his conclusion was basically the Arabs were like fucking monsters, because they would they would make sure that the slaves can't breed. So they would castrate them. Yes, they castrate them. Yes. Yes. And turn them into eunuchs, yes. Yeah, and, and the, they would mutilate the females, I think. Yep. And the the, well, the whites, females had, had, the had whites, certain Yeah, and the whites didn't do that. The whites was would actually yeah. let them breed. And the whites The whites would, that is true. The white slave trade is, is slavery is disgusting. It's absolutely I mean yeah. it shouldn't have to be said, but let's just like it's really hard when we're comparing like the one of the worst things you can do to another human being. Like- okay, as already established in part two, uh, both Spoons and Aiden Paladin, for some strange reason, are perfectly a okay with apartheid, which is pretty much South Africa's interpretation of Jim Crow laws. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if sometime in the near future we find out that these two are pro-slavery. I mean, on the one hand, we already had Spoons trying to convince Aiden Paladin that being a domestic terrorist is perfectly fine. We found out late last night that both of these two are perfectly fine with apartheid. So again, it really wouldn't surprise me if at some point, sometime in the near future, we discover that slavery was totally justifiable. <laughs> and maybe it's not a good, maybe it's not a bad idea to bring it back now. You wait, that's gonna fucking happen. Humans, yeah. But which one was worse? If you have yeah. to compare them, the one where you castrate and mutilate the slaves versus you don't them, do yeah. that. And I mean, the, me- the, uh, message, the message. I think the castration yes. one's worse. Well, yeah, because you just have to look at what happened. Like in America, what happened is okay. So I know they like to go on and on about how the Arabs apparently castrated the slaves that they captured, but how do we not know for a fact that the white slave owners did that as well? How do we not know that, that that wasn't a form of punishment when the slaves didn't pick up enough cotton? Hmm? How do we not know that? Some of the slaves, they would, uh, they, they bred with some of the females. And so yes. their offspring would be mixed. They'd be colors, yeah. uh, we, we would say in South Africa. And because they were... In America. Uh, I believe we called that breeding process uh, rape. They, they raped the slaves. 
the white owners did. Y you can't convince me otherwise. Even if it's not official, I'm highly convinced that at least at w some point in time, every single slave owner has raped one of their slaves. Again, whether it's public or not public, whether it's known or not known, every single one of these white slave owners has raped one of their slaves at some point. So they they got called high yellow yeah. or something like that, and then the, yeah, those but, children they got to they usually were put in less laborious. Yeah. Um, but positions. because but their parents, because their mm -hmm. father were landowners, they would get higher education. So uh, um, um, sometimes, yeah, yeah. So, sometimes, uh, not always. Occasionally, yeah. occasionally. Yeah, but a, a mixed community of lighter skinned blacks mm -hmm. were formed because they were, I don't say like members of aristocracy, yeah. but they were. A, more elite than the rest of them because of their skin color because they knew that if you were lighter skin chance and you had a good education it's because your father came from money yeah i mean it's like it's all i'm in no way and i don't yeah. think either of us are in any way trying to no but we're just like, like this is what happened yeah this, yeah, I, I, this was read, okay but you have, to, you have to still be like look yeah. We had to talk about what actually happened rather than just yeah, like, I, was, I read this in uh, screaming like, about right it, white liberals by Thomas Sowell. <clears throat> right great book yeah yeah and, uh, yeah, so th there was an element of that. It's still, again, like, pretty much the most disgusting thing that you yeah. can do to another human being. But I, this is, what they're talking about here is, is, is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're right, Rat King, the monarchy is about 1,200 years old, and it's never been broken. Ironically, they were called Cromwell, the that was about and we're it. discussing a monarchy that's still intact. I know, Yeah. <laughs> that tweet down because it violated its policies of, of wishing pain. Yeah, and Carnegie uh, Mellon also, because this is a professor that teaches young people. This is an educator and a leader. Mm -hmm. And the, the university said something important. Uh, aside from not, uh, this doesn't represent the values of the institution, they said, nor this. Tolerant left and women are so much more caring. You know, I didn't really think about this earlier when I initially thought I was just going to do this whole little series, just deep diving into this fucking cult stream. But, um... They're going to make the entirety of this fucking stream that they're doing all about this clip from The View. Th that's literally what they're going to do, isn't it? They're literally going to go over a fucking clip from The View and start kicking and screaming about how it's awful. <sighs> You know, I like pointing and laughing at it in Paladin and Spoon just much as the next guy, but, um, you know, even I have my limits. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that we got some wacky shit, like these two being perfectly okay with King Charlie snapping his fingers and dissolving a government overnight and... You know, Spoon's apparently being A-OK -okay with Apartheid. You know, if it wasn't for shit like that, I probably would have never done it. Because even with the little nuggets of just pure insanity, it's still just a boring, boring fucking show. Like... It's one o'clock in the morning where I'm at, and I'm about fucking drained. If I had done this shit earlier, like I'd say like 4.30, I probably still would have been drained. Even at noon, I would have been drained. Because this is how fucking boring these people are. But, as I said, I am still curious as to see what kind of nuggets of insanity we're gonna get from these two. What sort of interesting hot takes is next for us all to listen to, so, best thing I can do right now is just soldier on and keep on going. Uh, this is the woman who said this. Isn't that quite funny? Yeah. I know. Women are so terribly caring, but, uh, and it's funny, she's speaking about another woman. Yeah, Kizza for, uh, five pounds also says Africa and Arabia should pay. Wow, women talk shit about women. Whoever saw that coming? Written 200 years of reparations for ending the slave trade. Cough it up, you guns. <laughs> yeah, there you That's go. That's actually a good point. It's like, yeah. yeah. Standards of discords. That discourse we seek to foster, which That's is important true. because this wasn't just a regular average citizen. This was an academic who leads. Yeah. Speaking of that, yeah. I, I remember.
Okay, if the bridge actually ever fucking did that, first of all, you could you could say goodbye to your fucking oil exports, the oil imports, there, Brit Bong Land. And secondly, the fucking Adams would turn around to you and say, well, you motherfuckers participated in it, so why should we give you shit that you participated in, you know? Oh, you want a fucking refund? Sorry, honey, you're a bit, you're 200 years too late for that. That's what the fucking Arabs are going to do. They're going to cut off the fucking oil supply to the Brits. And then they're going to say, fuck you, it's way past the return date, see you later, bitch. That's what they're going to fucking do. And I hope they do. If they ever fucking did that, if the Brits ever decide, you know what, we're going to demand <laughs> the fucking Arabs give us all reparations. And the fucking Arabs' response to that is just cut off their fucking oil supply. Holy shit, I will be on the fucking floor laughing. Remember in the book, um, he mentions the, um, the, um, one of the, one of the British ambassadors who went to Zanzibar and mm -hmm. talked about it in the slave trade. And he, the, the, the um, I think the, the king of, of Zanzibar said to him, no, my entire economy rests on slavery. And I remember this yeah. so clearly. He said, yeah. we are not like the Europeans with the reading and the writing. <laughs> Yeah. So he's opening these people. We are not like you, who are educated and concerned about morals. Yeah. Like that should tell you. Yeah, we're definitely not like you, fucking pompous pricks. We got our own shit to deal with. Pretty fucking base response. You living in this mindset with you have now. This is not how other cultures see the world. You wouldn't know this because you live in a bubble. Yeah. You fucking dipshit. You people are the fucking ones that talk. You're over here salivating at the idea of an outdated form of government. You know, you like to complain to these others, to these people here on the fucking view, that, that, that they're viewing in a way that not how the rest of the people fucking view the world. The same thing could be said about you guys and the fucking monarchy. But it, it just strikes me as so bizarre. Like, do you understand that your outlook of the world, your morals, comes from Europe. Other cultures yeah. don't see the world the way that you do. They don't have respect for their fellow man the way that the British do, you dumbass. Yeah. Like, the world is not this universalist attitude of all... No, we... Yeah, not everybody has, has, has these, these yes. you know, baked-in uh, values. And, and it's something that I think we'll, we'll get to yes. if we do get Freedom into... Freedom is not to, something that Charles is universally... Has, uh, yes, we should all be like the fucking... Brit bongs over here who have basically become European North Korea over an old witch white lady dying. Y you know that people are literally getting arrested right now for protesting the fucking monarchy? You can't even hold a sign saying who elected Charles to be my leader without getting fucking arrested or at least threatened to be arrested. No, no, seriously, we should definitely be like the fucking Brit Bongs over here, even though even though currently fucking England's a dystopian nightmare. Yeah. Worship the way that it is. Traditionalism. Yes, the way that it is in like the British or the uh, or the Americans. Like, there's other people that think like, look, you're a female, you come from a bad family. There's a caste system. There's a case of sexual discrimination in other cultures because this is how they rule. Like, yeah. The way that your country set up is not how the rest of the world looks at their cultures. You, you not understand this. You. I find it hilarious that people like Spoons is making fun of other countries for having an outdated caste system. Meanwhile, the royal family has been accused of racism on more than one occasion because they have employed not a single fucking black person to work for them since ever. So. Idiotic Americans. It yeah, makes you look so <clears throat> unbelievably stupid that you have no fucking idea how the rest of the world works when it comes to anything. You you just look so deluded. I mean, uh, th th this is this is delusional. That woman, what she said was so crazy. Not only did Twitter remove the tweet, Jeff Bezos called that woman out. Yeah, that was bizarre. Which is bizarre. I I mean, I don't I don't get it. Like I, I it's just, a Washington this Post is... as well. Like he owns the Washington Post. Like you, you're yeah. not exactly known for. Um, Based same takes or takes it on no. partisan for and, and when even Jeff Bezos is like, mm. no, and I mean, and it's not the only one. I mean, it, it, Twitter has been absolutely full of 
idiots and assholes. And we can look at some of them. Because I got some of them up. But let's just finish this real quick. Because there's a couple. And I am proud to say that I am indeed one of those quote unquote idiots and or assholes. It ain't easy. Well, okay, well, to be fair, it very is. But, hey, at least I'm enjoying myself. One more bits here. Our young Sarah, people. one of the things we can't do is we can't tell people from, you know. Arthur, you can shit on monarchy, but everyone in the chat is going to wreck you. <laughs> I mean, everyone in the chat already wrecks you when you do, because you look like a player being the only one to stop, democracy. Stop being rude, Spoon. You are in Let's a monarchy channel shitting on monarchy. You are, you are going to <laughs> That's his shit. right. That's free speech. I know. I, I know, but it's also my speech to ridicule me. We, support, dumb shit we in my support liberty here. This is, this is a liberty I know, and I'm going... Yeah, you support liberty, even though you're perfectly okay with the idea of an absolute fucking monarchy ruling over everyone's lives. Yeah, yeah. To normal people such as myself, those two would not go together, but apparently in their fucking dystopian, wacky worldview, that apparently works. Ugh. Man, now I just hope and pray to God that Joe Biden becomes a king. Just so I can listen to these two throw one hell of a fucking temper tantrum about it. So that way I can report it and pal it into the local authorities. And that way I can get her extradited and send her back to the States just so she can go on trial for making fun of our dear leader, Dark Brandon. Aw. Uh, and hey. You know, as Aiden Paladin is crying in her jail cell. I hope she remembers that, hey, she wanted an absolute monarchy, and this is what life is like under an absolute monarchy. You make fun of the king, you criticize his fucking policies or the way that he acts, and boom, you're in a fucking jail cell. To exercise my liberty by butchering the crap out of you when you say stupid shit about monarchy. That's just, that's, that's how this works. All right, let's get back into it. What I'm not saying he can. Yes, to stop. You know, call me crazy, but something tells me Spoons really doesn't have many friends. I mean, if this is his reaction to someone trolling the monarchy on a fucking YouTube channel, I really can't even begin to imagine what he's like outside of the fucking internet. I swear, I really can't imagine. But I do know one thing, though. If this is his reaction to some dude. Just having a little jab of the monarchy. This dude really does not have any friends. Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised if not even members of his own family would even want to talk to him because he's that fucking unhinged. I'm just saying that if he chooses to open his mouth, I'm going to open my mouth and kick his ass. Spoon is being rude. This is the rudest. Spoons, I know you're lying. I sent you a fucking meme of Queen Elizabeth, of a statue of Queen Elizabeth standing next to fucking statues of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il on Twitter the other day. You didn't even respond to my fucking DM. You want to know what you did? You fucking blocked me. Like a little bitch. So you're not going to kick anyone's ass verbally. You're just going to fucking cry. Like, I knew you would. And I know you will. This is a fair fight. You want equality, <laughs> okay, bitch. This is how equality looks uh, like. Let's go back to the view. <laughs> with how to feel. And it's very difficult to, to I think, to, to understand it uh, if you haven't been in those shoes. So be responsible for tweeting. No, there's that's gotta why be some I'm grace there, too. I think there's got to be some <laughs> grace. Like, she, her, she doesn't deserve pain and suffering. Like, maybe she should, you know, I think there's a lot of ways that she could lean forward where I should say her predecessor, lean forward and try to modernize. I mean, what do they mean? They keep saying this. What do you mean modernize? I guarantee you they... She, they mean reparations. They wh which predecessor? No, they're talking. She, uh, she's saying the queen should have let for lent forward and modernized, and now she's saying now her predecessor, meaning Charles. But this this bitch is also dumb as fuck. There's so much that's out of the monarchy, like yeah, you absolutely. know, blatantly having an affairs, and we just kind of pretend it's not a thing, and it may hurt the women who are cheated on. Or there's there's a lot. They've okay, let's talk about this for just a minute, just a freaking minute. Diana was cheating on Charles for years. It was not even an open secret. Everybody knew about it. She flaunted it. They got it. Yeah, but, um, wasn't Charles cheating on Diana first? Wasn't old Charlie being a good old fuckboy and fucking around with other women behind Diana's back first? 
Wasn't well, that what really happened? Can you really blame Diana for wanting to cheat on Charles if Charles was already doing the cheating on Diana? Hmm? But no, no, no. Let's seriously condemn fucking Diana for being the whore here and not King Charlie the fuckboy. Divorce. And it was, like, not the only one. Everyone was pretty much getting divorced in the royal family at that point in time. But after the divorce, she continued to gallivant around with Dodi al Fayed and other people. Mostly Dodi al Fayed at that point. And just kind of embarrass the crown. I'm being asked to play So Tetris. somebody, so somebody, I th Yeah, but wasn't Charlie, again, you know, the one cheating on her first? So, wouldn't it make sense that she would want some fucking payback? Of course, uh, you know, it eventually ended up in her assassination, but hey, you know details. Think, I don't even think this is, this is a, a question, basically went, no, no, this is not acceptable, this is not how it's done. And then she ended up in a car wreck, okay? I, I do think that that was, uh, that that was intentional, that was done. I don't think the Queen did it, but... Uh, she was cheating on Charles. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Gargrish was intentional, but it definitely was not the royal family. It definitely was not the queen who ordered the fucking hit. You know, the same queen of England who cannot be charged with fucking murder because, yes, apparently that's a fucking thing that can happen. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, if you're the fucking king or queen of England, you can literally get away with fucking murder. <laughs> and Charles was cheating on her with um, Camilla. So, I mean, why is it like, why is there a double standard? Because Charles is going to be king. That's why there's a double standard, okay, for Charles versus Diana. And people, when Diana died, the entire country was in mourning. More so than I think even than the queen. I, I mean, like, Jesus, do you remember that? When we were kids. When uh, Princess when Diana, Diana died. Away? I mean, it was it was people yeah. crying in the streets. I, I still remember that, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, I, I remember it in, in America. Uh, was the fucking country in lockdown for ten goddamn days when Diana died? Did the fucking UK... Did the, fu did the fucking nation of England turn to the fucking North Korea the moment Princess Diana died? Where McDonald's is closing for hours upon hours on end to show solidarity with the fucking funeral of fucking Princess Diana? I don't fucking think so. How people were just... And, and now, like, there's people like, why are you upset about this? It was, well, we'll watch Hassan's stupid little shit real quick. But it's like, why are people upset about this? <laughs> well... I don't think he would because, have had a problem because, with people crying about Princess Diana dying. Because, uh, because she was uh, one of us, and even though she was born into nobility too. Fucking so it, dumb, it, the whole thing was stupid. It is because, Hassan, some not, people not have dying, but, you know. um, humility and a soul. Yeah. And you don't have and Hassan either. has none. You're yeah. a meathead moron. He's a real... And you're also work. a giant pussy. Yeah, he is. Let's continue. And a mentally ill Nazi is going to find you and kick your ass and kill you in your home. Hassan Piker! <laughs> I'm coming to kill you! In your house in Los Angeles! Or in the ring! No, in real life! <laughs> They're literally taking a fucking shit post from fucking Sam Hyde seriously. <sighs> They really fucking are. They really fucking are. You know, maybe I should start actually charging you idiots. The people who view my fucking channel money just to get through this shit. Because holy shit, I'm going to need a fucking incentive to keep fucking going. Like, yeah, it's an opportunity for me to dab on it and pound it. But I'm going to need a bit something more going forward, actually. You know, because I'm starting to think I really can't keep doing this shit for free. You know? I actually, so when, I, when, I, when I first saw that, I went, did he just ask him, in I'm ring, coming right? to kill you, yeah, but when he said, I'm coming to kill you in Los Angeles, in your house, and then he asked, in the ring, but he just no. said, in his house, no, obviously not the ring.
<laughs> he was trying to give Sam an out of being like, you're not actually making yeah. a death threat, right? <laughs> It's still an obvious joke. Oh my god. It's so, so, funny. so funny. We've got to come into the 21st century, obviously reckoning with the race issue. I mean, Meghan Markle has been so mistreated by the royal family. No, she hasn't. Personally. I remember there was one tweet that just says, no, it's nothing with racism. It's because she's just like an asshole. Shut she's up. Just a, she's a bitch. That's what they, everyone yes. everyone has ever said about her is that she's a bitch. <laughs> Let's see. If she's a bitch, then why did Harry agree to marry her? And why are those two living in Los Angeles instead of in the UK right now? Hmm. Hmm, hmm. You know, if I was a royal, and, you know, would I decide to marry a bitch? No, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Even Americans don't like her. I know. You can have, like, like, like Evidence. You have evidence that, uh, Americans really don't like Meghan Markle? Because uh, Aiden Paladin here agreeing with everything you say does not count. I heard that they were like, That's oh, you can take her, something. we don't want her. Yeah, when like, like, even what? the Americans go like, she's just like a temperamental bitch. Like, yeah. You know, if, if both the Americans and the British don't like it, that should kind of tell you she's universally disliked because she's kind of a bitch. Yeah. Again, um, uh, where is this evidence that uh, Miss Meghan Markle is not really liked by uh, the Americans? Uh, if you have the evidence, I would uh, very much like to see it. I mean, uh, I know, once again, you have blocked me on Twitter, Mrs. Spoons, because you are a uh, gigantic fucking vagina. But, um, uh, if someone can get into contact with Spoon here and just ask him where's the proof that uh, Americans hate Meghan Markle, and uh, if he can be a, a non- vagina and send that shit to me oh, I would very much appreciate it but I don't think Spoons is going to produce said evidence because well uh it doesn't fucking exist but then again that's just me what would I know Mm. King Charles, but American. Well, I want, I want to say something that, that the Queen that the Queen did, and that I think she should get credit for. And she um, she helped pass a change to the uh, to the uh, Succession Act. Mm -hmm. Look, even the women like if this you part. Were, the first born was a woman. Yeah. She couldn't be the the Queen. She yeah. made, based. Made it so I didn't agree. It's based. Were on the same footing as men if they were the first. So it's based to fuck over the first born child who was a female in favor of a fucking son. You know, none of the shit that we all associate King Henry VIII with wouldn't be a thing if he just decided, you know what, fuck it, I have a kid, the kid is healthy, and it looks like they're gonna manage to go to live beyond fucking twelve. Guess what, kiddo? You're the next in line. I don't care if you have if you do not have a penis. But much like how it is with you know, they're already outdated system that they're sipping with. Now they're sipping with the idea that hey, you know, oh you're a lady, you were the first to be born. Fuck you. We're going with your third in line. We're going with your brother who was born long before, long after you. Born, and I think she was. I actually think she also did a lot for the way women are perceived in feminism. Oh, because she was. What about Victoria and, England and Elizabeth the First? <laughs> do, do, do you want to know what what Queen Victoria thought about feminism? I just tell you all about what Queen Victoria thought about the dominant of I'm spoons. I like apartheid and I'm back to fucking it, so. Yeah, I'm convinced now. This dude definitely has no friends. <laughs> oh, this is how you know these people don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because if you ever yeah. listen to Queen Victoria's opinion on Queen feminism, Victoria. like, uh, yeah, oh, a lot of Queen fans. Victoria lot was of really based. Like, damn. Yeah, I, as I, I, I was saying to you earlier oh. when we were talking on, on Discord, nobody... I really... Is Spoon getting really, really horny over Queen Victoria not being a fan of fucking feminism right now? Because that's what it sounds like to me.
<laughs> Queen Victoria really hated those fucking feminists. <laughs> Something tells me Spoons just busted a big old nut in his pants. The moment he, he started thinking about how Queen Victoria really hated feminism. I'm, I'm convinced here. Spoons is definitely the big horny right now. Might need a big old bunk, too. I like Queen Victoria. <laughs> Nobody hates women like other women. And these girls can all sit here and be all girl power and shit. But the reality is they all talk trash about each other behind their backs because that's that's what women do i wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised Sorry. i wouldn't be surprised if these women were talking shit each other oh, each other's backs. obviously I fucking oh, that's what women do they get paid Batman for K being gossipers yes they're being yes they're semi-professional gossipers Yes. Batman came for five pounds says Britain was literally paying these countries money a few years ago just so they would stop slavery yes yeah. but it's still happening in the arabic lands literally paying them to stop it yeah. Uh, but, it, you know, of course, it's not how that works, unfortunately. Uh, as much as people want it to, it's not reality. Well, well, she did it on her... You know, for all this talk of Britbong land being the first to end slavery and literally paying other countries to end slavery, uh, how come the United States of America never got any fucking paychecks from, the, from them? Up until the fucking Civil War? Hmm? I, I'm just fucking curious. You know, why were our fucking paychecks to stop slavery? Can you just imagine what life would be like if the Brit Bongs started giving us paychecks to end slavery? So the war would have never happened. A lot of men would not have had to sacrifice their fucking lives in the Civil War to end slavery. You know? A lot of, a lot of non, a lot of unnecessary bloodshed would have happened had the Brit Bunks just cut us a couple of checks just to end the slave, slavery, you know? Hmm. Like right now, this, it, was it, called, into law. it was called, it was called into the, law. the but, Crown but Act. But also, yeah. also to Alyssa's point, um, you're you're you have a much duller look how she has no freaking actual nice thing to say about that the feminism thing, which doesn't really matter, but as she has not, nothing positive. By to the say way, about is, is, is the way that she says this really snarky and quite rude? Like, listen yeah, to what she says. I, I know. It was called into law. Oh. It was listen called listen to this. I know. But she also, also, to Alyssa's point, um, you're, you're, you have a much duller knife than I generally swing. Um, you, you know, you're... In other words, I'm... I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm sharper real, than you like, is what she's I'm trying to yes, say. Yes, I literally said that I'm sharper than you. Wow. I think what she was what trying to say is you're more blunt. I yeah, think that's I what so. she was trying no, 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 to say. No, no, no. She was saying that her... her that her, her, She cuts deeper. The other one, yeah, was more blunt and didn't and didn't and not blunt in the way of being uh, uh, uncouth, sort of, or or, or not uh, uh, polite, but saying like you didn't go deep enough, girl. Uh, and yeah, I guarantee is, these shows hate is, each other. Is that what that meant? Because I I, took I think it, so. I, I took it in in the mean that she was trying to say you you um. Okay, so who else had Aiden Paladin would go full grammar Nazi on their shit? That's good. Shit that's gonna happen on the internet in 2022. I know I didn't. Oh, you're more blunt. Because saying it, more duller, saying this, you are not as sharp as I am. Typically speaking, that either means... way, she's being a catty cunt. Like either yes, way, it's it's a really catty backhanded. Yeah. Statement. Yeah. Yes. She made. I thought it was already established that women cannot resist to urge to talk shit about one another. So why should you really be surprised that this Puerto Rican lady is being a caddy cunt right now? Mila, the queen consort, I'm sorry. I think that women that are having affairs with married men around the world are saying, I can sleep with a married man and get the crown. But, but, uh, this is so bizarre. His wife's dead either way. Yeah. Okay, what are, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, he was cheating on... Uh, first... Wife. Diana with Camilla. Camilla was fucking around with a whole bunch of other dudes. And then they got divorced. Basically like a rat's nest. And then he got married to Camilla. 
Okay, so while Charles was cucking Diana, Camilla was also cucking Charles with other men. Jesus Christ, like one big gigantic fucking cuckold fest. You know, if the Monarchs really weren't racist, I think Ethan Ralph would actually like to be a member of the fucking royal family. You mean, you know, they throw a couple of black dudes in there, and I think Ethan Ralph would be totally okay with being, with being okay with the monarchy. Come on. And, and the highest title she can get is, is Queen Consort, you know? That's the highest title. She can't be queen because of By the, the way, divorce. You right? Hollywood people talking so what are you, about what sleeping is this around shit? like you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like talking to my girl. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just think she should be the be naive. Okay, I'm just gonna go out on a fucking lane here. I'm gonna say the minute Charles puts on the fucking crown, Camilla is gonna throw one big fucking temper tantrum, demanding that he fucking changes the laws. So she can be the queen, and she doesn't have to worry about people throwing a fit that she got divorced. I guarantee that's gonna be that's gonna be one of the things Charlie does the minute he becomes the official king. But that is the history of the monarchy. They all have a no, face. They have their side pieces. Was so pure. But they stay with the I woman do think, that they marry. I do think. It's so weird seeing. Does she Joy. not know? That, does she not know that Princess Diana was his first wife? Even though she's know. complaining about all this, does she not know that Princess Diana is fucking dead? Yeah, I, what? It is okay. so weird to me seeing Joy being the, the, this, the same one. It's like that's, so that's weird. really it. That's really it for this because then they just go off. What a weird thing to end on. Of just you gotta. Get Holy shit! I thought we'd ever get through this fucking clip of the few. <laughs> oh, I thought it would just be them spending the next fucking two hours just rambling on and on and on and on. About the fucking feel. Okay, we're moving on to something else. What it is, I don't fucking know. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. It's more girl now. power stuff to, to complain. Because she, she couldn't accept that, that the queen is a minute she would consider feminist. Um, I do want to talk about this one real quick. I got another YouTube video. We'll pop it in here. I, we'll do I, our, all the YouTube stuff we can get through it. I, I would love to see these people with like Queen Victoria's most just take on feminism because queen victoria was not oh, no. a fan of feminism queen victoria when i read some of the stuff that she said <laughs> i'm like god damn queen victoria is like extremely attractive to me right now okay i'm gonna go out on a fucking limb right here i think when spoons was reading that shit he was jerking off to it hell it honestly wouldn't surprise me if him talking about queen victoria not liking feminism is it is causing him to undo his pants get re getting ready to rub his willy <laughs> she, just, she just like I like she just said something like if women were to become equal to men they would become horrible <laughs> ugly creatures and I'm like that's that's true she's way ahead of her time yeah because that is true feminists yeah. are horrible ugly people yeah and and they're just terrible human beings yeah, yeah. very true <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna let this play for a minute uh, of course pause it when you want because uh, i'm using the bathroom real quick i'll be right back but uh, this is just this is just awful uh this is chip shop yes queen like, uh, um kids that's right queen victoria hated the show the suffragettes yes she did uh, well done. go Very ahead based. go ahead spin i'll be right back wow what a fucking shocker a woman that never had to do anything to get the power that she god hates women for wanting to be you know have equal rights what a shocker I think this woman was actually thrown out of the Scottish town. Yeah, driven out of a Scottish town. That's really bad if uh, if you're being driven out of a Scottish town. I'm going to presume it would be more funny if it was Scottish people. Because I know some Scottish people do not like the crown. But even this, like, yeah, this is tasteless. Fuck off, bitch. Well done. Did you do that again? Yes, well done. Well done to the Scottish town who ran out a fucking woman for having a different opinion than everyone else. Such a good thing to happen indeed. Truly an amazing moment when a fucking woman has to pack up everything and lose her fucking business because she had the audacity of having an opinion that was different from everyone else. Totally not dystopian at all. And 
I'll just record it. How about we throw you off London Bridge? Mind you, she's a very hefty girl. If she were to hit the water, she'd probably make waves. Yeah, what a great idea. Wow. Well, here's another thing we can add to the list of things that are definitely wrong and messed up about Spoons. You know, he actively wants women who disagree with him to die. Yeah. Mind you, I did make waves. Not very good ones. Well done to all the residents, every single one of you is very based, and uh, you should do this to a whole bunch of people. You should do this to uh, all the people that are not white who constantly talk shit about your country while wanting to get all of its money. So Spoons is now celebrating the residents of this town running a woman out of her fucking town for having a different opinion of them. Jesus fucking Christ. Well done, it's nice to see some solidarity among the British for once. Yes, well done, well done, well done. What a great job you people have done to run a woman out of your fucking town because she had a different fucking opinion than the rest of you. What a good job you people did. You could sense for a safety, like yes, taking an egg to the noggin is clearly very much detrimental to your well-being. Yeah, you know, how dare those police try to do their job and protect this women from a crowd who, let's be real here, if it wasn't for the police, they would have fucking murdered her. Let's not kid ourselves. If this woman had no police backup, they would have fucking murdered her. Or at the very least, beaten the shit out of her excessively. The Federation, the fe what? Hold on, let me just read, let me read that again. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at this woman being run out of her town and having to close up her shop or having a different opinion than everyone else. <laughs> By the way, I'm perfectly, you know, I really care about free speech and all that shit, but. <laughs> The National Federation of Fish Friars. That's, that's quite the tongue twister right there. Federation. At this hotel, people might have res. Well done. It's very British. Well done. Well done. Great job. Running a woman. Out of her fucking home. And out of her fucking job. Because she had the audacity. To have a different opinion than everyone else. Great job. Great job. Again, totally not a dystopian fucking nightmare at all. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want to talk shit about you. Again, remember, just in case you forgot, Spoons is definitely A-OK -okay with free speech. So long as, you know, the stuff that he agrees with, you know, when it's people that say things that he does not agree with, uh, then he wants you fucking murdered. And your life ruined. The monarchy. What the fuck? And then you pelt him with eggs. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Well done. Fucking pelt these people that have a different fucking opinion of you with eggs. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely gonna look like the fucking good guys to the rest of the fucking planet now, aren't you? Yeah, you definitely will. You definitely will. Yeah, um, so she's also like a con insane conspiracy theorist. Did you oh, talk about that at all? Yeah, she, that's why she thinks, she thinks Liz is a lizard. That's why it said <laughs> lizard Liz on her sign. She that thinks she's like, like a reptilian and thing. stuff. I know, she's like, she's like a- Okay, so, um, just out of my own curiosity, um, how do you know that she's a conspiracy theorist? I mean, she could have wrote 
reptilian Liz on her sign just troll her. Ever, ever thought of that? She could have been just doing a, a little bit of trolling. You know? Maybe she's not into these fucking conspiracies, but then again, it really wouldn't surprise me if Vaden Paladin is just outright slandering this fucking woman for having a different opinion than everyone else. Uh, she's also Listen, like Liz, yeah, that, that's at least funny. I mean, it's not true, well, but it's at least humorous. At least for the, the pun. It's not respectful, but I can at least say it sorry. as far as like wordy goes. Like, yeah. And blackjack and hooker sold separately. I mean, absolutely. It's great, check, though. Instant, yeah. instant karma on that shit, though. Instant karma on that shit. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, instant fucking karma. A woman has a different fucking opinion than everyone else, and so everyone else's immediate reaction is to run her out of town and nearly assault her if it wasn't for the police backing her up. Yeah. Yeah, karmic justice, all right. Karmic justice, yeah. Yeah. Did I mention these two claim to be free speech warriors? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they they did, like, I don't know, I forget how much that video I don't, I don't know what's like. more amazing to see unity amongst the British people or the police actually do their fucking job for once. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, it's just too extreme. Like, it's just so, cla it's so, it's so anti-British, because I always associate the English with having a sense of style and... Well, she's Scottish, to be fair. Oh, so which drunken moron? No, I'm no not. Offense, there's, there's a few good Scots. Yeah, see, see, Duke. What was his name? What do you call himself? Uh, I don't know. Considering some of the stuff that uh, Dank says, like, it's, I wouldn't call that classy. I call it crass. It's funny. I, I, it's funny as hell. But yeah, it, no, it's thanks. still. I, really I mean, like I, I, I. Spoons, you're not English. You're South African. You have no right to talk about this. Especially you, Wayne, and you're a fucking American. Get, uh, the Scots don't like that, but uh, I'm gonna send you a couple articles, okay? Or do you want to watch? Yeah, I think I think that's about it. Do I have any other videos? Uh, oh, besides Tucker's monologue, which Tucker's oh, no. monologue was unusually it's really good. based. It's really good. But um, oh, uh, wait. Tucker's monologue was unusually based. I thought, according to you two, fucking none of butters, he's fucking right wing Jesus Reagan incarnate. Every single fucking monologue is supposed to be super duper over the top based. So what's the exception with this one? Did Tucker Carlson go about 15 minutes not sucking Vladimir Putin's dick to now trying to suck on Queen Elizabeth's dead, wrinkly, old titties? Is that what Tucker Carlson tried to do? Let's do a... Let's touch on this, because we don't have a whole ton of time. We might go a little bit over, because uh, but uh, I did want to cover it. We're, since we're doing the Tate, let's stick... I have things in order for a reason. Head into a defect fryer? No! Kiss it. That's a waste of oil. <laughs> so there's another. Uh, this is an Argentine. Yes, let's not murder the woman who has a different opinion than the rest of us with oil, because you know, oh, that'd be a waste of oil. Yeah. Argentinian host. Oh, of course, the Argentinians. Of course, the Argentinian uh, went twice. nuts on, on air. Oh, I fucking love this one. I fucking love this one. I'm gonna be like these people when the fucking you know. A uh, funeral happens. I, I believe it's on Monday. Uh, I'm definitely going to save enough, enough money to get myself a nice bottle of champagne. Because I'm going to be watching this shit on the fucking TV. And the minute I fucking start watching, you know, the whole little funeral possession, I'm cracking out the fucking champagne. And I'm going to be celebrating. Because at long last, by then, this fucking nightmare that the Brit Bugs have been having to deal with for almost 10 days will finally be over. Or you have to open up the article to get the video. I think we'll, we'll hold up the watch together, but I think we're done for right this second on one watch together stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Argentinian TV host drinks champagne on air after Queen Elizabeth death, death and says, quote, the old bitch has I, died. I totally stand by this, um, by the way. Hmm. Dear conquered peoples, the history of humanity is one of constant conflict and competition for resources like land, food, water, Yeah, I sent women. you this, didn't I? You whine about the fact that Europeans were and are better at this contest than any other... You know what, I just want to skip to the part where we get to the Argentinians celebrating Queen and Lizzie dropping dead. And once we get through that, that's where I'm going to fucking end it.
So race of men in the world. You losers want to I'm just gonna skip it. Uh, celebrating her past being on air at the announcement of her death. You can just scroll down, you can see him. He's pouring out his champagne. Like a twat. Fucking based. Yeah, like, a, what a douche. You know, really? Let's uh, toast a little. We toast the death of a trash queen of England. Finally, someone dies correct in this life. No more. Look, look, look at what I have. Let's toast a little. We toast a little trash queen of England. Yeah, foam for everyone. What a dick. What a just, just absolute. This dude is fucking based, and I fucking like this dude. And I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on fucking Monday. Blue dick. You know, it's not very often I will um, I will cheer for a Southern Hemisphere or a Northern Hemisphere team over a Southern Hemisphere one. But uh, the next time, England, the next time you play Argentina in either football or rugby, I hope you kick the shit out of them. Well, you know why Argentinians are mad, right? Yeah, Falklands. Well, my money's going to be on the fucking Argentinians now. It's about the Falklands. Yes. So. They're still bitter about it. No, no. Do you? Do people? No. Oh, I hope they take this fucking opportunity now that fucking Lizzie's dead to go ahead and retake the fucking Falklands anyway. Because that would be the fucking perfect time to do this shit. Lizzie's dead. Fucking Charlie's about to take the throne. The UK government's really fucking occupied right now. Come on, Argentina. I know you want to. Go right ahead. You have this Yankee doodle dandy ass's blessing. Do it. Oh, why? <laughs> Argentina is mad about the Falklands. Do people even know what the Falklands are? I guess. So, Argentina is... Argent, not, not all, but... Hashtag not all, but Argentinians have been seething and shitting and pissing over the Falklands for decades now. Because it, Okay, so... 1982, Argentina invades the Falklands. And the UK, which had been ruling the islands for 150 years, kind of said, I don't think so. The Falkland Islands are, 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 is a very, very small uh, archipelago uh, that's in, uh, it's very, very far south. Like, you're getting clo close to, to, you know, South Pole level. And so basically, the Argentinians just wanted to invade it. And, and did, and just invaded, and the the Brits said, no, I don't think you're going to do that. You're not just going to invade and take our land, and they kicked him out. Yeah, Argentina, you're not just going to invade and take over lands that don't belong to you. That's our job. Get wrecked. It was a 74-day war. They are seething over this from 40 years ago. After they... And now this is their chance for a fucking revenge. Come on, Argentina. I know you want to do it. You've been seething for 40 years, according to Aiden Paladin. It's time, baby. Let's get a Falkland Wars Part 2 going. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, bros. Tried to conquer something and lost. Yeah, it's mostly just penguins. <laughs> Scotch bacon, yeah. <laughs> It's mostly penguins. So they're seething and shitting and pissing about shitting. something that happened 40 years ago where they were the aggressor, okay? You know, it's funny. You know, if I remember correctly, the British tried to conquer Nepal, but they got their asses slaughtered by the people that would eventually become the fucking Gurkhas. Here's my history lesson for today. <laughs> Just saying, this is why this guy is out here on Argentinian television cracking open a bottle of champagne. Loser, as you said with that, as that previous freaking quote brought up, loser, you're a loser, and you're seething and shitting and pissing because you're a loser. Uh, and I, I refuse to back down from that position. Well, it turns out the um the nation in South America that has class is Brazil. Yeah, but you won't be saying that once the Argentinians take over the Falklands again. <laughs> Yeah, a, I, I, a lot of a lot of people have been. Uh, By the way, do you not find it so? It. Do, you, do you not find it so <laughs> weird that the people that get demonized the most in America is like Bolsonaro and Putin, and they mm -hmm. were the people who were like the most respectful to the Queen? I know. Which is so weird. Because of her five pounds of speaking in 1982, Pinochet never got a knighthood for his assistance to us in that war. We should honor them for that. <laughs> Any objections? Not for me. No, I'm 100% um, agree with that. Pinochet was very based. Uh, if I could I'm get a going... if I could get a quote if I could pin two things on my Twitter account, it would be the one that I just did, and then another quote from Pinochet. 
Because I quite I like Pinochet. Anyone Pinochet. who just goes around I, just massacring communists because they're terrible people or bad humans. It, it, I, Sorry, Spoons, but um, you do not have the right to be the Pinochet fanboy. That honor goes to Mr. Dame Pesos of the Soilless Match Show. Okay? You have no right whatsoever to be a Pinochet fanboy. That fucking goes to Dame Pesos. I don't give a shit who you are. Dame Pesos will always be the number one fucking Augusto Pinochet fanboy out there. I don't really give a shit. Um, I, I, this is the thing, I... Which, you know, it does make sense. I mean, Dame is literally fucking Chilean, and Spoons is just a South African man-child. I don't understand why people think, like, oh, look, here are, here are a bunch of people who want to oppress and kill me because I oppose them, and then I'm supposed to feel bad if they die. Like, they're homicidal maniacs. They're literally saying they want to kill me because I don't think like them. Why should I feel bad if, if someone kills them in mass? Like, they're a parasite. They're cancerous. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. They're not humans. They literally agree, they agree with I, they disagree I, with I, ideology. You want to kill people? Like I, I, but look, look. If you if that's how it is, and that was Pinochet. Weren't you literally celebrating a Scottish woman getting kicked out of a town a couple of minutes ago because she had a different opinion to you on terms of the monarchy? There, spoon. Didn't that just happen? His position, right? Just that it like was. Well, because and, and, okay, the argument there, right? I will go through the the, the helicopter argument. Is that <laughs> these people? It's an argument. Is that uh, communists don't believe in human rights? They don't. Um, and because they don't believe in human rights, uh, applying their own principles to them, it's then they fed. don't. Well, neither the spoons believe in human rights, especially when it comes to freedom of speech, as is evident by the Scottish woman who got thrown out of her town for having a different opinion deserve human rights, and therefore it's okay to throw them out of a helicopter. Yeah, I mean, that I'm not saying right. I agree with this at all. I'm Again, I, I know people who are communists and, and socialists and stuff who are very good people, but... Uh, That's an oxymoron, I mean, I'm Very fine people, Trump thing, but just, just no, for real, like, people, you have to judge people as individuals, okay? But that's why Pinochet, that's where that argument comes from, why you can throw them out of helicopters, right? Um... So I sent you a Newsweek article that just has a, that's just collected some of the the black Twitter on fire after Queen Elizabeth's death, just so we can just black Twitter. Oh my God, it's going to be full of spelling mistakes and caps, isn't it? <laughs> can I go over this video at all? Hold on, I just want to double check. <sighs> they don't. They don't. They don't. Which is a shame. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end it. Uh, next time we're going to be going over, you know, Spoons, Native Paladin, Little Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Pro Apartheid go over uh, Black Twitter. I'm sure that'll be uh, an interesting journey to say the least. But anyway, oh, man, oh, man, 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 man. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and have yourselves a good night. I know I will. At least I'll try to anyway.